you're walking around with a sharp needle on the end of a stick and you're walking around rocks and tide pools and some terrain that could be tricky. And then you're approaching 400 plus pound animal, an endangered species, and you're gonna try to, you know, jab it with a syringe. The NOAA Hawaiian Monk Seal Research Program is the only group that is proactively going out and Ooh. vaccinating a large subset of a marine mammal population anywhere in the world right now. So it really is a very unique program that we're excited to be starting out one step at a time. There are between 1,200 and 1,300 Hawaiian monk seals left. They live exclusively in Hawaiian waters, and so they range from the Big Island at the southernmost end of the archipelago all the way out to Kiri Atoll at the end of the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. And Tracy and I discovered that having a hand signal like this demonstrates that the safety is off. It's a good reminder. Morbillivirus virus is what we're hoping to protect these seals against. And people may be more familiar with a few specific morbillivirus viruses, such as canine distemper. So that is something that dogs are vaccinated against routinely. Measles is another type of morbillivirus, virus, and that's the morbillivirus virus that affects humans. So if you know much about measles, you know that once it starts to spread, it spreads really quickly. This virus has killed seals in other parts of the world on the order of tens of thousands of animals. If you think about that relative to the number of monk seals that are in existence, we really don't think that the population could sustain an outbreak of a morbillivirus. virus. When we're working with seals, we're, we're trying not to disturb them unless it is for a specific purpose. And that's one of the reasons that for the vaccination project, we're really happy that we've been able to incorporate using this tool. It's essentially a spring-loaded syringe on a pole where it gives people a safe distance away from the seal in case the seal does rear back and respond. A lot of the seals so far haven't responded very dramatically. They may lift their head, turn their upper body, and vocalize, and then lay back down. And now they sleep. Let's go regroup and... Yeah. I can't believe how totally non-impressed they are with our needles. They generally just go right back to sleep and back to the business as usual. <laughs> For so long with the Hawaiian monks, so we've been spending so much trying, trying to fix the things that are going wrong and we need to get ahead of this and to try to do something preventative instead of just following behind. Bursial pups are tiny, but they are ferocious in their own right. 